Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about ordinary list square method. What do you mean by ordinary list square method? This equation we have already studied in simple linear regression model. Y is a dependent variable, X is independent variable. That means Y depend on X. E is error term, alpha and beta are our parameter. Alpha is intercept, beta is slope of curve. On x axis we have independent variable, y axis we have dependent variable. OC will be called intercept or you can say that OC will be called alpha. Slope will be called beta. Now we estimate value of alpha and beta by using sample data. Now we will estimate value of alpha and beta by using sample data. Suppose we have estimated value of alpha and beta by using sample, sample data and this is our new equation. Y had estimate value of Y, alpha had estimate value of alpha, beta had estimate value of beta. X is independent variable. In this model, we assume our independent variable is a constant. Now, please listen carefully. Ordinary list square method we use in order to find out optimum value of alpha hat and beta hat by minimizing overall error. Ordinary list square method we use in order to find out optimum value of alpha hat and beta hat by minimizing overall error. What do you mean by error? This is a estimated regression line. Now suppose the value of y hat lies somewhere here and this is the actual observed value of y. And difference between estimate value of y and actual observed value of y will be called error. Difference between estimate value of y and actual observed value of y will be called error. So difference between estimate value of y and actual observed value of y will be called error. So error equal to y minus y hat. Y Actual observed value, y hat estimate value. Ordinary list square doesn't directly minimize error. Instead of this, it minimize sum of squared error. Optimum list square method minimize sum of squared error. What do you mean by sum of squared error? Error can be positive or negative. Suppose estimate value of y is 5 and actual observed value is 10. 10 minus 5 equal to 5. In this case, our error is positive. Now suppose actual observed value is 3 and lies somewhere here. In this case, our error is minus. So our error can be in minus or plus. That's why in order to prevent uh, this problem, we do square of all errors. But why we have summation sign? Why we do sum of errors? Because we don't have only one error. We have so many errors. Some error lies here, some here. That's why we add all these errors. It will become equal to summation of a square of errors. So these will be called sum of squared errors. And uh, op, uh, ordinary list square method minimize this sum of squared errors. And errors are equal to y minus y hat. So in place of e, we can put y minus y hat. And main aim of ordinary list square method to find optimum value of alpha hat and beta hat by minimizing sum of squared error. How value of alpha hat and beta hat help to minimize error in ordinary list square method. Suppose value of alpha hat 10, value of beta hat 2. X is independent variable which we assume constant. Here you can see value of y hat mainly depend on value of alpha hat and beta hat. If value of alpha hat and beta hat is close to actual observed data, then eventually value of y hat will also close to actual observed data. If value of y hat is close to actual data, then obviously our error will be minimum. Suppose a value of y hat is very close to actual observed value. Value of y hat is 5 
and actual observed value is 6. So, here you can see value of y hat is very close to actual observed value. So, here you can see we have only one error. In short, we can say that when value of uh, y hat is close to actual observed value, then our error will be minimum. And value of y hat mainly depend on value of alpha hat and value of beta hat. And ordinary list square method help to find out optimum value of alpha hat and beta hat. As we earlier discussed, main aim of ordinary list square method minimizes sum of uh, squared uh, errors. By minimizing sum of squared errors or you can say that by using this equation we will drive a formula of alpha hat and beta hat. This is the formula of alpha hat and we will simplify this. This will look like this. Y bar mean of Y series, X bar mean of X series, beta hat is value of beta hat. So, this is formula of alpha hat. Similar, this is formula of beta hat which we drive by minimizing sum of uh, squared errors. And in simplification form, we can write a formula of beta hat like uh, this. So, this is formula of uh, intercept and this is formula of uh, this uh, slope. So, here you can see we drive formula of alpha hat and beta hat by minimizing error. That's why with this formula we can calculate best value of alpha hat and beta hat which consist minimum errors. If alpha hat and beta have consist minimum error then obviously y hat will consist minimum error. If y hat consist minimum error that means y hat is very close to actual uh, observed value. So, this is main aim of uh, ordinary list square method to find uh, optimum value of uh, alpha hat and beta hat by minimizing overall error. So, this is all about ordinary list square method. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.